Hello and thank you for watching. This is STSC back again, celebrating 1,000 subscribers with LEGO Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. Here we have Prime in his truck mode. I opted for a more movie accurate color scheme over the toy style color scheme which made a more G1 accurate. However, I did include obviously some dark blue and dark red here and there, which kind of represents the faded blue and red paint that is visible on the truck. Sand blue probably would have been more ideal, but I just don't own those pieces in that color. On the back here, you'll notice he has a headache rack rendered in dark blue. That's mostly there for robot mode and just to clean up the truck. I'm not actually sure if the real prop had a headache rack, but most trucks do. So I figured it was a safe enough detail to add. Similarly, the wheels on the back are actually dualies. Again, I'm not sure if that's accurate to the real truck, but I thought it looked cool, and uh, I just went for it. One thing I know is not accurate is that he has two smokestacks. The real truck only has one, but in Robo Mode, Prime still has both. So I opted for Robo Mode accuracy and just gave it two smokestacks. For size comparison, here we have Prime next to another miniature truck in this case, Torque. He's probably a little too big. Really, the truck they used in the film is actually pretty small, if I remember correctly. So he probably shouldn't be this big compared to a uh, long-nosed rig. But that's just how it turned out. And I'll bring in a minifigure, in this case, another sci-fi protagonist who happens to also be murderous. So you can see, obviously, he's not minifigure scale. He's way too small. But that's how a minifigure looks next to him. And for accessories, he has just one. His gun here, which I've built pretty simply. In this case, I've actually made it a little more G1 styled with this uh, stock here on the back. Uh, it's not super accurate. Uh, probably could have got it closer to the movie model, but I still think it looks pretty cool. And in this mode, there are a few ways you can store it if you really want to. Personally, I'm not really that big on weapon storage. I don't really care if a model has it or not, but I know some people do, so I might as well showcase it. There is this bracket here, which can peg on here. So it kind of looks like it's laying on the bed. Or you can actually take the handle and peg it in to this trailer hitch. And uh, that looks really silly. But hey, it's weapon storage if you really want it. All in all, I'm actually really happy with how this truck mode turned out. But there's not much more to say about it, so it's time to transform. And here we have Evasion Mode Prime in his robot mode. In this mode, a lot more of the red and blue are visible, which is my attempt at trying to emulate the color cheating they did in the movie. 
Since his colors noticeably increased in saturation once he transformed into robot mode. Of course, that's not possible with LEGO, so I just had to work with what I could. All in all, I think it still looks pretty great. He's got most of the details you could want. He's got the shoulder pads, he's got the smokestacks on his shoulders, he's got the little hip cylinders, he's got the blue slopes on his waist, he's got all the wheels where they should be. However, that is kind of in contention. If you watch how Evasion Mode Prime transforms in the movie, you'll notice that the wheels actually seem to fold into his elbows. Personally, I haven't stared closely at the CGI model to see if the wheels actually are on his ankles, but considering he's supposed to look like the original movie design, I figured it just made more sense to include the wheels there to better emulate the wheel placement of the original movie. The headache rack I added to the truck mode is on the back here, which is why I made it blue. It's kind of meant to appear like the blue panels he usually has on the back of his robot mode, which isn't perfect, but I thought it was kind of a neat touch. Similarly, you can see there's a bit of red revealed behind the windshield when you slide it in. And you'll also notice that uh, the chest has kind of reshaped as it's supposed to without actually doing all that much movement. You can see it's still pretty flat. Which doesn't look amazing from a lot of angles, but I think it still gets the key details across. And I think that it just looks really accurate, and I'm pretty happy with it. There certainly are details that you could point out that he doesn't have, but I think I captured enough that he looks like a pretty great little movie model. And the fact that he actually transforms is kind of a cherry on top. Now, as far as articulation is concerned, he's a bit hit or miss. From the waist down, he's actually pretty articulated. He's got an ab crunch, a waist rotation, or waist swivel rather, and then at the hips he's got a universal joint, which as long as you swing this little hip piece out of the way, he can get pretty good movement. But then at the knees, it's eh, not great can't quite get a 90 and you have to sort of awkwardly bend the leg in like this so that it can get past the wheel. And if you're not careful, the wheel will pop off. So already we're kind of finding some weaknesses. Then at the ankle, he's got a ball joint, which allows for a pretty deep uh, ankle pivot. But where problems really arise is the arms. Unfortunately, there is no forward or backward movement at the shoulder. I tried to get it, but there was just no solid way to get it as far as I could find, so it's just in and out. Then at the elbow, he has a 90 degree bend and a swivel. And the head is on a universal T-joint. For size comparison, here we have him next to a minifigure again. Once again, definitely not minifigure scale. In this mode, you can clip the gun into his hand, and although he has limited articulation, I think you can get him looking pretty cool with it. That's about all there is to say about Evasion Mode Prime, so thank you all for a thousand subscribers, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. I'll kill you! I'll kill you!